flashlight fell out. Oh well. Much for mercies anyway. We're in the boat. There you have it. Ready for another adventure. Let's go find the happy place. about Birch Creek is even though the creek is over there it's on the other side of those trees the other side of that shoreline the mouth of it comes in over here you can see where you go out to the rest of the lake that leads to the lake but back this way right about where that green starts that's the mouth of the creek that's where I'm going there's white herons around here. Pruning, fluffing up. That's his decorative feathers. I think he's trying to impress somebody. where the mouth of the creek is this thing winds back and forth back and forth lots of herons sailing all the way up except for the brush it's in the way around this first band I suppose they might have cleared it out a little more there's several fishermen that'll come up here that will clear these things out so they can get up in here it was completely blocked Turtles dropping in up here. This is that turn it makes, and then there's the log jam up ahead. Water turkey. They're as likely to swim as they are fly. Look for snakes. <laughs> Boy, there's all kinds of stuff in this water. Not just comorants. All these birds are all over in here.
treat today and see the eagles. You really got to watch for them though because they'll be sitting in a tree not saying anything and go right past them. Well, when I left the house it was perfectly clear but it sure kind of feels like there might be some thunderstorms coming. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Find around here. Oh, there goes something. It's fairly shallow where I'm at right now, but this bend it gets deep. I've caught a nice bass out of this bend every time I've come up here this this year so far. Okay, I'm not throwing a drag queen, but that's something that looks more like a shad. Looks like a little fish. It's got a good size hook in it, so if a bass picks it up, I'll catch him. I think I got company up here. Well, that would be unusual. A lot of surface activity, which would be about right for an advancing front. <laughs> I got, I've got thunderstorms coming in. I'm going to have a fit. I think I'm about ready to change to a RuPaul just to get it going. Much bigger fly and this is nice dark water too. Nice dark water. I have no idea if the black bass stay up here or not. I know in one pool that I fish, they ain't got no choice because they can't get out of it until it rains again. Yeah, let me put RuPaul on. Let me put new leader. New tippet. Well, that's pretty close to the original one. Let's see if it works. Ah, there we go. First bass. It's a good one too. had to anchor up out here. Well, oh, that fish is fighting good. Oh, yes. That's nice. Good strength. What's that going across the water? There's a catfish. What is that all about? Something's carrying that catfish. See it? Something's pushing that along the edge of the, the surface of the water. Got a fish on one side and something interesting going on over there. I think it's a snake. The snake has got his dinner. All right, well, come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah, nice fish. Whoa, bring that in a little. A little too close, huh? There you go. Excellent first fish of the day on a RuPaul Drag Queen. All right, goodbye. Thanks for coming. Let's get back to what was going on. Oh yeah, see, there it is. That's what I thought. Big old snake. Caught himself a mud cat for dinner. Now he's gonna figure out how to get repositioned head first. That's a big old snake too. I thought that's what that was. Quite a show, huh? <laughs> All right, let's find another bass. That's all I was doing. Ooh, it had one on it. Boom, there he's hitting it. Just fishing the shady part. Nice steep bank over there. It's got some depth to it. It's not the deepest spot in here, but it's deep. Boom, drop it right on the edge. Just like that. A couple of soft strips. And boom, they'll be on it. Just gotta get it head first. Still interesting to see how they eat a catfish because those barbs on the side. I don't know how they get those down there. But he will. That fish is that fish is bigger around than that snake, but that watch it don't matter. Just 
pulling that thing up on shore. He knows it can't get away. Switched to conventional gear and caught a big sunny. Let's go take a closer look at the snaky snake. That fish keeps threatening to get away from him. He's working on it. I think he's just moving to the head. I, normally they swallow it head first. Let's get up there a little bit closer. That's what he's doing. He's getting it positioned. He's getting a good position on it so he can swallow it head first. Crash into the bank there. Bonk. Yeah, see? He's slowly but surely working his way around to the head. Boy, it's nasty, isn't it? Oh, we almost lost it. He almost lost it. It almost got away from him. Now he's got it closer to the head. Well, as interesting as that is, I think I'll go further up. And I'm pretty sure I can't get to my pool up there without going back through the woods. And man, this stuff has gotten tall. All along shoreline, so I might not get out. I don't know. Yeah, I think I need to paddle up and then fish back. The wind's blowing me downstream, so I won't have to paddle to get back. It'll blow me back. This is a good spot, too. Not very deep, but this is a good spot. The pool isolated. Water's not very hot. A little stretch here, a little narrow. stuff is thick up on the banks last two years in a row by this time the lake was seven to ten feet above normal can you imagine seven to ten feet more water in here and <laughs> uh, 12 to 15 feet more than that when it finally peaked in the floods yeah 22 feet of water from here. This is lake level. So way up into those trees. 22 feet rise. Pretty nice bass right there last time. I think I'm going to just fish right up past it. I'll just paddle right past it and fish it on the way back. I need to get as far up as I can get. Another good spot. Narrows and deepens. This is where it starts getting interesting. <laughs> hmm. Getting cloudy. Dark and cloudy. <laughs> well, that's new since the last time. This is where it really turns into creek because it gets skinny very skinny piggy tracks is this the end of the line is this where I stopped last time went up on that bank I think it is well let me see if I can navigate this just take my fly pole I'm just gonna take the roux a couple others on my hat see how far I can get up here don't really expect if I wanted to get wet I'd go all the way I'm not sure I want to get wet the water's rich very rich Let's see if I can get along here without getting wet really if I just decided to wet wade this would not be an obstacle I think that, that looks right. I wouldn't have pushed through that last time. I'm almost positive I parked right over there and went up that bank. Went way up that way. Well, I'm pretty sure this side would have been easier. Boy, you gotta be careful when you're working the bank like this. 
critters will be right up in there. Stuff going. Dang it. Uh, I reached an impasse. I really don't want to get wet. Ah, uh, gee, many crickets. And I don't really want to wade through weast, you know, head high weeds either. I got my bug stuff with me. I might be able to climb up here and at least take a look. Maybe that side is a little clearer. Oh man, that's not even. That's not even close. Hmm. Sure looks like where I got out and went up and over though. Hmm. <laughs> Dang. Man, I can't tell if that's the spot I want to go to or not. Ain't even game trails on this side. You know, maybe that's maybe that's not completely true. Kind of looks like well, it kind of looks like a trail. Let's see. All oh, this catch a few fish. That's ridiculous. Well, clear that a little bit. It's sort of like game trails. <laughs> Biggie trails, most likely. Oh yeah, this isn't too bad. Okay. I stand corrected. There is somewhat of a trail system in here. Look at that. canopy on that tree is so dense it's, it's either a holly or a, a live oak I think that's a holly sure is that's a holly evergreen shades the ground underneath it and nothing grows look at this down man Take a peek at the creek. See how far I've come and how far I gotta go. And if I'm actually where I think I am. God dang, getting a 10 foot pole through a freaking forest is not easy. Let's see, what do we got? Where are we? Okay, I believe. What I have just up here is what I'm looking for, so let me see. Now let me see. What's it like down here? That's a game trail. Gonna end up going right back up there. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Just down there. This is still a little crowded. Yeah, I think that's where I want to go. Actually, got some flow to the water up here. Cut across here and see what I can do on this other side. Oh, these way down. Man, the promised land's just up there. It's just up there. I think that's where I want to be. Alright. Is that too deep for my boots? 
no. Just to the top of my boots. <laughs> uh oh, soft sand. Gotta move fast. Oh shit. Well, if I get my feet wet, then. Oh well. Ah, can you believe it? I got through there without getting my feet wet and it went right to the top of my boots. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna have to go through some of the tall weeds. This is a little unnerving because if there was a snake or a pig or something like that, you, you know, you do the hay bear, hay bear. <laughs> Lots of frogs in here. Lots of pretty flowers. Look at those yellow flowers. Okay, we are almost there. Oh yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. There's that pool has landlocked bass in it. <laughs> I caught a bunch of them the last time I was up here. That was a good day. Weather was cooler. <laughs> Even though it's not particularly hot today, it's in the 80s, but those thunderstorms are threatening to cool things off. It's not as humid as it would usually be because this is this this uh, breeze is coming out of the north, which is almost always drier. Oh yeah, man. Here we go. I doubt if anybody's been up here. Boom, there you was. You see that? Right in front of me. Yeah, they're going to chase it up all the way to me. Boom, there he is. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. It's right here in front of me. Boom, there he was. He's going to get a hold of it here in a second. based on last time I know to approach this pool from way back here because those fish are sitting right in here. They will come right into this part of the pool. And all that casting activity does not scare them, it draws them in. It's a shame I can't see through that water on the glary side. There he is. There he is. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, dang, they're following it up. A little bit of slime on top of the water. Not moving much. Glad to see there's a little flow to the creek. Oh, God dang, did you see that? <laughs> that must be a little bass. All right, let's get in position here. Just keep working it, fanning it all the way up here. Got pretty good distance behind me. Pretty good clearance. Boom, there it was. Oh, missed him. Didn't hang on to it. It's going to be very big. Oh, that breeze feels so good. <laughs> if it wasn't for the thunderstorm that's blowing in, I'd be happy. Oh, missed another one. These may be brim. So I get closer to that little cove up there. Oh, there you go. Oh, God, dog, these have to be brim. They're hitting it and pulling it. They're not getting it. It's okay. I know there's bass in here. And uh, I know there's brim too, but I'm not really worried about those. I can't get this 
big giant fly. A new fly line, so it's nice and smooth casting. Still floats. That's not real uh, important with this particular fly. If it floats or sinks. Come on now. Get some momentum going. Well, I didn't have one bass bite. I had a bunch of blue, uh, bluegills to pick it up. Sunfish. See the sunfish swimming around. Well, I don't want to go down there, but I can't see anything. There's another pool up here. It kind of divides into two parts. There's the other pool. Okay, do some long casting here. Oh good, it's shady on the far side. Well, let's see what we can manage out of this hole. One that came up and got it. Wow, I saw that fish come up and get it. Whoa, come on now. Good fish, good fish. I got real strong line, so I'm not too worried about him breaking it. I'm gonna horse him in to keep him making too much noise. All right, Bubba, come here. Whoa, come on. Oh, that's another big one. Just about like the last one. And got power. That's a three and three and a half pound fish. Come here, dude. Come here. Come here. Oh, I know you're not ready. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a four pounder. That's a four pound fish. A little skinny. Would be four pounds if he wasn't so skinny. Nice one. <laughs> that makes it worth it. RuPaul. Got him. Bubba. Thanks for coming. Good job. That's all I did right there. I chunked it and as it sank down, boom, came up and nailed it. Right there in front of me. If I, oh, there's one. Oh, missed him. <laughs> so here they are. They're in this pool. <laughs> oh, dog. Don't you know this? There he is. Oh, there's two of them. Look at that. Look at that. There's two of them fighting for it. <laughs> Ooh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him trying to fight that other fish to get that thing. <laughs> <laughs> These fish are hungry. Oh, hang around, dude. I, I'll give you a chance. <laughs> Another three pound fish interesting is there's another one chasing him I don't know if you can see that or not get all that slack out all right let's get this one in real nice and quick I guess I should have brought my little underwater camera I could have chunked it out there oh wait a minute come here another fish that one's a little smaller than the one I just caught. It's about the same size as the one that was after. like shooting fish in a barrel. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yeah. You ready? This is such a slow moving, easy meal. 
Now it's just right in front of me, down about two feet. I'm not even letting out that much line. <laughs> don't have to. <laughs> I guarantee these fish are getting hungry. Don't have to cast very far to start out with, huh? Need to put my polarized glasses back on so I can see better. Dang, that's cool. I just saw one sitting there. He was looking at it as it was cruising in the shallows. He was going to come up and get it. Took a little bit of recast. Oh, man, I should have brought that camera. <laughs> that little waterproof camera I got. That would have been cool. Guarantee these fish are hungry. I'm gonna pull one out of here in just a second. They are still interested. Pull one out of that shadow over there. Why oh, I don't want to cast all of a sudden. Oh, there he is. Oh, I missed him. Important thing is make sure you get the strip set. There, there does seem to be some sunfish in there with a gar. Be cool if that bass came up and killed it right there in front of us. <laughs> Gotta kind of aim around all this uh, algae in the water. I can't do it from here. Come on, fishies. Long cast. Should be a sweet spot right there. Come on, fishy. Fishy, 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 fishy. Not that deep. I think I see the bottom. There we go. The water's higher and you can paddle up here. This is a real good spot. All that slime moving around. Got one looking at it right here in front of me. Come on, bass. Come on up. He's right there, just out of sight. Booger. They are cruising up and down here in just a little bit. They're getting wise. Oh, there's a gar. There's a gar. Look at him. <laughs> he followed it up and slapped at it while it was in the mud. First couple of passes through an area are the ones that really work. A new area like that I haven't hit yet. The first couple of passes are the ones with the not spooked yet. So if they're in there, they'll come and get it. Doesn't 
surprised me. There's not very many little ones. <laughs> All these fish are capable of eating a eight inch bass real easy. And they probably have. They'll start knocking out everything in here. Hungry. There's a big catfish in here too, I know, because I caught him last time I was here. Probably more than one, I'm sure. And they ought to be getting real hungry. There we go. Come on, bass, where are you? Look at right up next to that tree, best I can. Boom. Oh, that was the sweet spot. Maybe the other side of it. Boom, right on the edge. Come on, fish, where are you? Come out and get it, too. If he's in there, he'll come out and get it. little stretch here. Whoa, dang, missed him. That might have been a that might have been a sunfish. Big sunfish will really knock it. These bass are generally inhaling it. I'm not. I'm not going to lose one. There's a big sunny. I'll play with him a little bit. See if there's any action in here. <laughs> yeah, there's a sunfish on the drag queen. All right. Thanks for coming. Sunfish, you're just slapping this thing silly. Every time I drop it right over there, the sunfish comes and takes a whack at it. Come on, bass, where are you? I know you'd be hanging out around these sunfish somewhere. That's your dinner. Big bass, big bass. There's a gar. No, big carp. Big German carp over there. Whoop. Play a little more dangerously. Big bass could pull me right into that bush. Right into the brush if he wanted. There's another one. <laughs> Whoa, nice bass. Big one. Big fish, come on buddy. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Just about like the other ones. Yep, almost exactly. Oh, look at you. They are getting thin. They are getting thin. Come here, dude. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Mm. Yeah. These fish are all right on the verge of being four pounds if they were not getting so hungry. That RuPaul. See what I mean about not having to worry about the hook set? It is deep. They try to eat it. All right. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. It's a good spot because I can throw it a long way. Oops. Well, I think that's mostly sunfish. They just pop, pop, pop. If I had J-Mo here, he'd find out. He loves catching them sunfish. I like catching sunfish when sunfish are <laughs> present and bass aren't. <laughs> Boom. Way down there. Boom. There's a good hit. That's got to be. It's got to be Sunny's. Probably ought to put a trailer on this thing. I've got a rubber legged dragon with me. They'd take it. Oh.
rock over there. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this thing in and get back to my boat, very least. Ooh, there's another bump. All right. That's a long distance casting here. Right in the sweet spot. out. Okay. 411 automatic reel. And sucks that line in like it's nothing. Alright, I'm gonna get back to the yak and get that yak out of here. And this side is just a little less brushy. There's at least a little resemblance of trails on this side. So we're gonna stick to them boogie out of here. Surprised I didn't catch more out of here, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's gonna rain on me. So I need to get boogie. I need a boogie, boogie, boogie. Where'd I come in at? Down there. I did across down there. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do this side. Let's see. Follow the animals. They know where they're going. Even if I don't. Well, this doesn't seem to be as good a choice. <laughs> oh, jeez. By being head high, damn it. It does clear out a little bit. There's a little bit of a trail system through here. Not much. Just a little. And that leads to a dead end. Right, let's swing wide. There's Actually, some pretty significant trails when you get back in the deep part. The canopy has kind of knocked this stuff back a little. Trick is not to go too far and miss my exit. I'll bet I don't have as many flies when I get back as I had when I started. And on top of my hat, let's see if I've lost any yet. Huh, nope, still got them all. Wow, I heard some thunder too. <laughs> ah, and it's getting still. It's gonna be pouring here in a minute. <laughs> it's warm enough, it'll actually feel good. Alright, creek's just right over there, and I know I'm getting real close to where I need to drop back in. Right, let's head this way. Look at this big giant thistle bush with the pink-purple blooms. I think I hit it just right. Maybe. I think this is where I came in at. I'm pretty sure. Just down from here. Yeah, my boat's just around that corner. Good deal, man. That worked out well. Uh, now I'm starting to hear a lot of thunder. I'm gonna go down a little bit further before I drop that. Uh -huh. Look, there's my boat right down there. Perfect. Getting dark. <laughs> All right, good thing I got a fast yet, huh? And two bottles of Power Aid. <laughs> Real good. I'm gonna stop and got them, huh? Not particularly hungry, but boy, I sure do need to be hydrated. 
Good flat. Good sight. That's a, such a nice sight to see. Oh, Lordy. There's the thunder. Well, I think I'll just paddle straight back. What do you think? Think I'll stick around? See if the wind will push me out? a fast yak. I don't know if I can outrun the storm, but I can certainly get way down here quickly. Boogie boogie. late. All right, I've left the creek and I'm headed across land. Boat ramp's just right over there. So I'm just going to drag it safer on land than in the open water. Even though there's enough pigs out here to do me trouble. Give me some trouble. Nothing for a stepper like me though. Done this a bunch. Like I said, thank goodness for a light boat. Oh, that cool air is dropping down on me. Yeah, there it is. I picked the right path. It's a straight shot in the boat ramp. Just got to jump over one little old creek. Rain's starting to come down now. Right there's my truck. 300 yards straight across. And there's the rain. Ah, it feels good though. If the camera blacks out, you know why. I put the shirt, put my camera in my shirt to keep from getting too wet. Well made it! <laughs> I'm soaking wet on the backside. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow. What luck. Well, that was fun. <laughs> it's been a while since I got caught in a thunderstorm. I made it all the way out of the creek, started dragging the yak, and it really just hammered me about 100 yards from the, from the boat. I, I drug my kayak all the way back across the field to get here which you know I've done that before because it cuts off about a mile of paddling and I don't like the idea of paddling in that a thunderstorm wind lightning man I knew what I needed to do get off the water as soon and quick as possible I thought it might miss me that's why I dilly dallied up there as long as I did but they pass quickly so I'll gather my gear up once it lets up. Uh, my pants are wet, backside. <laughs> my whole backside's wet. It was real lucky. The thunderstorm came from behind me, so it just pushed me right to the truck. Appreciate that quite a bit. <laughs> All right, this will pass. It's already slowing down. Still, still raining sideways though. But it'll it'll clear out pretty quick. I'm gonna show you. You can see, boy, it was coming down a minute ago. Gonna be better. See what I mean about passing quickly? I always do. Still raining though. I could wait for it to clear out and do a little more fishing, but I'm done. 
That's a lot. Don't know if you can see it, but there's a rainbow. Big one. Alright, goodbye for now. Big rainbow. Uh, we've done steam coming up off the road. That's pretty neat. Times. So the early bedtime is like if you just want to go to bed, like your bedtime's, you know, eight o'clock. That to me when I was a child, like I think I would have passed out from happiness because, you know, uh, when I was a kid you like you went under your covers with a flashlight and read because uh, you weren't it supposed definitely to. Definitely cooled so down real nice. They got a few deer in their Stage yard. Center Theater will present their production of the Dixie Swim Club, a hilarious and touching comedy show. Night. Look at all of them. <laughs> no wonder they got a fence up. <laughs> but they don't have a garden. Look, another group of them. <laughs> oh my God. That's too many deer. All those. Every one of them a doe. Pretty animals. Hello. Well, might as well drive around the lake, huh? Let's go check on all the creeks, see what they look like. Maybe stop at one and fish a little. Change my mind again. I'm just gonna take it back to the house, get a bite to eat, and work on a video. Cows are up feeding. A big old storm. A basement, really? We don't have those here. 